Here I have I1. So I look at this node. I1 enters the node. I2 enters the node. I3 leaves the node. So what do we conclude? What enters I1 plus I2? What leaves I3? So I have I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. Now, you may try this node, but you won't get anything new. Because this is I3 goes through the battery. And so I get I3 here entering. Now, I1, remember, I1 leaves the battery. And by our rule, the same current that enters the battery leaves the battery. So this leaves the battery I1. This means what's entering also is I1. So this is I1. So all this here is what? I1. So I1 leaves this node. Here's I2. That's I2. So I2 also leaves the node. So for this node, I3 enters. I1 and I2 leave. So I3 equals I1 plus I2. Again, the same equation. So there's nothing. That's all we can get from the nodes, this equation. The other two equations I have to get from the loops. So we can take one loop here. We can start anywhere we want. Let's start here and go around this way. Go around this way, counterclockwise. Going counterclockwise, I go th first through that 20 ohms resistance, and I go with the flow. So I'm going down in potential. So that's minus 20 I3. I go across the battery from minus to plus. So that's plus 12 volts. And I continue. There's nothing here. And then I go across the 10 ohms resistor. And I'm going with the flow. There's a current I2 going with the flow. So that's drop. It means minus 10 I2 equals 0. And of course, I come back to the starting point. I don't encounter anything. So that's zero. So that's the second equation. How about the third equation? I can take this loop here. Let me start. We can start here at this point, go around, and come back to the same point. So moving to the right, I go across the battery from minus to plus. So I'm moving up. So that's plus 10 volts. Then I go across the 10 ohms resistor. I go with the flow. With the flow. The current is I1. So that's minus. I'm going down in voltage, minus 10 I1. Then. I come here, there's nothing, and then I go through the 10 ohms resistor. But now I'm going against the flow. I'm moving to the left, and the flow is to the right. So I'm moving against the flow. Moving against the flow means the potential increases. So it's plus 10 I2. And then I come this way, there's nothing. I don't encounter anything until I hit the point where I started. So that's equal to zero. So those are, those are our three equations and three unknowns. Those are easy to solve. Uh, 
the 10 here cancels away, so I get 1 minus. So this equation number 3 becomes 1 minus I1 plus I2 is equal to 0. So we can get I1 in terms of I2. So this means that I1, I can take it here, it's I2 plus 1. Then I can put for I1 its value here, I2 plus 1. So it's I2 plus 1 plus I2 equals I3. So this means that I3 is 2I2 plus 1. Then I come, down, I come to this equation now, minus 20I3. So that's minus 20, and I3 is 2I2 plus 1, plus 12, minus 10I2, equals 0. So that's minus 40I2, minus 10, that's minus 50I2. And then I have minus 20, plus 12, minus 20, plus 12, so that's minus 8 equals 0. So this means that I2 is minus 8 over 50. So it's minus 0 0.16 amps. That's I2. Now what is I1? I2 plus 1. So minus 0 0.16 plus 1, that's 0.84 amps. And how about I3? It's 2I2 plus 1. 2I2 is, I2 is minus 0 0.16, so that's minus 0 0.32 plus 1, that's plus 0 0.68. So what do we conclude? We conclude that, that I1 is 0 0.84 amps. And the direction is indeed as assigned. I3 is 0 0.68 amps. And the direction is indeed as assigned. But I2 is minus 0 0.16. So what does it mean? It means that it is 0 0.16 amps, but the direction is opposite to what we assign. This means that I2, in fact, is in this direction. So, and this is what I've been mentioning before, that it doesn't matter. You can assign, you can make a guess, assign directions, and then when you solve, anything which is positive, fine, you keep the direction. Anything which is negative, you just reverse the direction. And that's the way it goes with circuits, all right? Loops and nodes. Check the nodes and walk your loops. And you'll end up with a number of equations in a number of unknowns, which you can easily solve. In fact, no matter how complicated the circuit is, you may have 10 currents, you'll end up with 10 equations and 10 unknowns. It may take you the whole day to solve it, but it's straightforward. The point is that it is straightforward. And thank you.